Hi all, this is Silva Jan here. Welcome to my networking channel. The purpose of this channel is to cover from basic to advanced networking including the latest networking technologies. Today the topic I am going to discuss about loop guard. So before that let us understand the spanning tree architecture. Here I have connected switch A, switch B, switch C all are connected to means of trunk link. And switch A is a root bridge so the corresponding ports are always designated ports. And a segment will have one designated and one root port. So these are the root ports and this is a non-designated or a blocking port. So now let us see what is loop guard. Loop guard is used to track the sudden loss of BPD on a non-designated or a blocking port. So loop guard is used to protect the sudden loss of BPDU. So what will happen when the loop guard not enable and there is a sudden loss of BPDU we are experiencing on a non-designated port. So if there is a sudden loss of BPDU when the loop guard feature is not enabled, then this non-designated port will wait for the maximum age timer to expire and automatically the port will move to a forwarding state. So once this port moves to a forwarding state automatically, the frames will circulate continuously and will result in loop formation. So the second scenario I am going to cover when the loop guard enabled what happened to this non-designated port. So when there is a sudden loss of BPDU, when the loop guard is enabled, the loop guard moves the port into a loop inconsistent state. So what is the purpose of moving the port into a loop inconsistent state to prevent a non-designated port moving into a forwarding state if there is a sudden loss of BPDU and to avoid loop formation. So that is the purpose of loop guard enable. So when the loop guard is enabled and if there is a sudden loss of BPDU, this feature automatically moves this port into a loop inconsistent state to prevent the loop formation and also to avoid the non-designated port directly moves into a forwarding state. I hope you understand this and let us see now the configuration. Loop guard is disabled by default so it can be either enabled with spanning tree loop guard default in a configuration mode or we can go to the interface mode and specify spanning tree guard loop. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe me for more videos. Thank you.